on your feet. Let's go. Move. So welcome to Bardo, episode five of season seven. Uh, this was written by Drew Lindo, who's joining us today. Hi, Drew. Hi, Jason. How you doing? This was directed by Ian Samoyal, our longtime first AD and a wonderful director uh, in his own right. I think this is maybe his fifth or sixth episode that he's done of the show. Hello, Octavia. I'm going to start by asking you a few baseline questions. Drew, this is a crazy episode. This is, you know, the episode that will melt the noodle. Yeah, it's sort of a, a Mobius strip of, of two stories happening in the same space at different times. And we're sort of wrapping up the end of Octavia's off-screen story from season six. In season six, we saw her disappear into the anomaly for a short time and come back, having no memory of what happened. And slowly here in season seven, we've been sort of going back and retroactively showing what transpired that led to the events of Hope returning and recognizing Octavia and, and Octavia's history with Dioza. So this is the episode where Echo's team goes in to try to find Octavia and, and Bellamy. And, and we will also get to see, parallel to that, what happened when Octavia and Dioza were taken over to Bardo for the first time. Octavia, don't tell them anything! You know, obviously for the first four episodes, we've been setting up this new world that we call Bardo, that we're heading towards, that we go to for the first time in this episode. And Marie, Avdropoulos, Octavia, has an amazing, as you'll see soon enough, uh, sort of run through Bardo in the teaser. And it really is a totally new environment for us. It's unlike any planet or moon that we've been on before. Yeah, this is our first glimpse at this, this culture and this world that we haven't really seen up close, and we see a lot of it through Octavia's eyes in this flashback story that again is filling the gaps. Welcome to Bardo. But we're also getting a glimpse of just how formidable the disciples are, their technology, um, and their society. It is very different and very rigid, and uh, clearly they are believers in a cause that we have yet to fully understand. Our characters are really inside the belly of the beast this episode, both in the past and in the present. In the light of the shepherd. We will not lose. So we meet Anders, who we've talked quite a lot about this season, and uh, he's played by Neil McDonough in an amazing, sort of very different, again, for our show, uh, kind of role and performance. For all mankind! We begin to unpack how they got here, who they are. And obviously, things don't quite add up. On behalf of the faithful, I demand the release of Russell Prime. Nobody knows yet that Russell is no longer Russell and that, that Chidheda is inhabiting the body, having wiped Russell's consciousness clean. And so far, he's been using these followers on Sanctum as insurance to keep himself alive because they'll riot if anything happens to him. How does it feel to know they're willing to die for your freedom? Awful. But now we see in this episode what happens when the flock begin to try to come up with clever plans of their own. For the glory and the grace. And instead are going to actually make everything much more volatile in Sanctum, including Russ Hayda's own safety and security. So Murphy and Indra will have to step up a little bit. You put them up to this. Why would I tell my followers to kill themselves? Another great performance from J.R. Bourne. Watching J.R. Bourne play characters within characters playing Shade Hayda impersonating Russell. It's really an amazing performance. We can't just let them burn themselves alive. We won't. Russell isn't the only prime in Sanctum. Murphy wanted to be a god last season, and this season is really about him having to grapple with the consequences of that. He's now responsible for these people he doesn't really know or doesn't really care about that much. And so now he's forced to try to maybe save their lives. I got it. Yeah, and I think it's fascinating to see that beginning to work its way into his heart, too. You know, as mm -hmm. Murphy begins to actually care, I think it surprises him uh, most of all. And it's a, it's a really interesting arc that this episode definitely sort of takes a big step in. The others better come back soon because I am getting tired of being the hero. 